Queen and Duke of Edinburgh alight at King's Lynn to kick off the festivities at nearby Sandringham Estate. The Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh have arrived in Norfolk to kick off their traditional Christmas break, which they will spend on the royal estate at Sandringham. Her Majesty, 91, and Prince Philip, 96, traveled from London by train the day after they hosted the entire royal family for a festive lunch at Buckingham Palace. The couple traveled first class on the 10.45 amp first capital connect service from London King's Cross to Kingsland, just a 30-minute drive from the country estate. Flanked by security guards, the Queen, resplendent in a vibrant magenta coat and silk headscarf, looked to be in excellent spirits as she alighted the train. The train is a far cry from the luxury the Queen is used to on the royal train which comes complete with sleeping car bathroom and a thickly carpeted saloon and has as many as nine private carriages. Due to the huge running costs, the train is now only used on very special occasions. By contrast, a single first-class train fare from King's Cross to King's Lynn costs 56 pounds and 40 pence. In previous years, the Queen has passed the time on the one-hour 37-minute journey by browsing her iPad mini after being given the crash course by her grandsons William and Harry. It is not clear whether the monarch had her device tucked away in her laundry handbag on Thursday, but the Duke was clutching the copy of Michael Angelo, the complete paintings, sculptures and architecture by Frank Zollner, which was published earlier this year. This year, Harry's fiancé Meghan Markle will join her husband to be Sandringham on December 25th, an unprecedented step for someone who is yet to become an official member of the royal family. The Duchess of Cambridge did not spend Christmas at Sandringham until she and William were man and wife in 2011. Meghan, who will take British citizenship and get baptized by the Church of England before the wedding, will also attend the Christmas Day service at St. Mary Magdalene Church in Sandringham, a spokesperson has confirmed. She and Harry, 33, who are now living together in a two-bed cottage in the grounds of Kensington Palace will also take part in the traditional walk to Mass by the entire royal family. Confirming the news today a Kensington Palace spokesman said, You can expect to see the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, Prince Harry and M.S. Markle at Sandringham on Christmas Day. Sandringham has been owned by the royal family since 1862 when it was purchased by Queen Victoria at the request of her son Edward, then Prince of Wales. Since then, the house has been in continuous use by the royal family and it was there that King George V.I. died on the 6th February 1952. It is also from Sandringham that the Queen's annual Christmas speech is broadcast.